11 o'clock. Happy Thursday everybody. Welcome back to another vlog where we're all we do is chill chit. I've just been to PT which is where I look disheveled AF. Yeah I had a very difficult session. Let me tell you Monday's session. I'm just gonna try and prop you up. First one back after holiday but annoyingly ooh, my holiday coincided on coincided with the back of Kelly's holiday. I had two weeks off training. Oh, Monday was hell. It was like I'd never exercised in my entire life. Oh, would you look at that? Someone's on my side today. One tin left of baked beans. So I know that we shouldn't trust what TikTok says and like I know we shouldn't just like believe everything we read on the internet, but I'm really interested in treats. To be fair, I am actually very interested in like nutrition and stuff anyway, but lately I'm very intrigued with this whole hormone balancing thing and like making sure you don't spike your blood sugar levels, eating more alkaline at the start of the day, or in general just having more of an alkaline diet. Interesting stuff. So my breakfast this week has basically consisted of a little tin of these beans, the no added sugar ones, two eggs, either scrambled with a little bit of butter or hard boiled and like then scrambled up once they're hard boiled, and a piece of rye bread. I love rye bread, I obviously toast it. And then yeah, and then today I've got a tomato that needs using up. Another thing I'm big into at the moment is using up everything in the fridge. I know I'm like 100 years late to it, but I feel like I've always been a little bit flippant with food waste in the past. Whereas now I'm very like, nothing goes unturned. I also like to slow cook my beans. It's very important. And I was thinking, I was thinking yesterday, like, is this a bit faffy to make every day? But to be honest, I'm, I'm never gonna start my day with a bowl of cereal or just like, just two pieces of toast because that will, I'll just be hungry in 10 minutes. So I may as well just like spend a little bit more now, a little bit more time at the beginning, making a breakfast that's gonna fuel me and fill me up rather than piss arsing around 20 times a day. Do you know what I mean? But honestly, sometimes a raw egg, if I think about it for too long, I just can't. David's been away with work all of this week. So I've had the house to myself, well, David's daughter's been here as well. So I've been doing the school run, I've been walking the boys. Honestly, bin day. Bin day fell on this morning, Dave's back this evening, so that was not a job I've enjoyed. I'm thinking about like my content up until the end of the year anyway, especially around Christmas, like what I'm gonna do in terms of, um, do you know even saying the word vloggers makes me feel sick, vlogmas, like it just feels very, Sasha was 11 watching YouTube, not 11. But yeah, videos around Christmas time. I think last year, I'm gonna have to check. I think last year I filmed two videos per week during December. However, I think now I'm like so much more used to this. I can do, to, it, it is obviously a lot more, but I can do two videos a week. So I'm thinking maybe three videos a week during December. I don't know, let me know what you think. I've got a couple of things planned. Like we're still doing the traditional garden center trip. I think we'll still do the flower arranging. I want to do a Christmas video with JJ where we cook a Christmas dinner. And then around that, obviously just like vlogs around it basically. So that's what I'm thinking, but yeah, let me know what you think. And then I'm thinking maybe my regular could just be two videos a week. Anyway, I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning. Oh, 11, 11, make a wish. Oh God, I think if I could just wish for quite a few things. Okay, that was a good wish. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning because I'm actually going to see the triplets today for the first time since before holiday. So they're probably gonna feel like giant toddlers in comparison to when I last saw them. I've got to hang the wash now, I've got work to do. I wanted to open some parcels, show you a couple of bits I bought last week. Right, I'm gonna make some breakfast quickly. I have shown this before, but this is how I make my scrambled egg. Um, it's more like an omelet, so I'll just let it cook flat first. I've actually added a little bit of red Leicester cheese as well. 
and then I'll like flip it over in sections. I don't know, I like my egg cooked through. I do not like raw egg at all. I'll show you when it's done. So like once I've bunched it up, I'll get like a section. So like that's gonna be a section and then I'll flip it. I don't know, I'm very weird with eggs. They have to be cooked through. Like that, that's how I have them. And that's it, that's my breakfast. It literally took me about 10 minutes, if that. And it will fill me up for a long time. And I've got my coffee, first coffee of the day, because again, all the girlies are saying, don't drink caffeine on an empty stomach. And then I've got some leftover egg without chili on for the boys. Do you want some egg? <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Tackers, good boys, was that delicious? Good boys. Hmm. I've just checked, it's not gonna rain today, but the washing line is wet with rain droplets. So I'm gonna dry it first. If my neighbor looks out the window now, she's gonna, I don't think she'd be remotely surprised actually. Like this. Just give it a little dry. There we go. God, I love a good drying day. Do you want to know how old I am? I am so excited to smell that later. Hello, my gorgeous king. Hello. Look at that tail wagging. What a gorgeous boy. Vinny, show everyone that you can jump now. Come on then, you can do jumping too. This is so embarrassing because the triplets are like nearly, I want to say like eight weeks old, maybe. I still haven't given them like a present, but I wanted to buy them these baby grows and they just kept getting sold out and um, they arrived last week. But how adorable are these? They're like white velvet with little embroidered white clouds on. I have also noticed I am such a fussy, oh, I'm fussy with everything, I think I have noticed that but like baby clothes, so many of them make me feel physically sick. There's just no need to put some sort of like garish animal that no one even likes on the front of a baby grow. You cannot be a baby in white, I don't think. This is so late and it's so embarrassing. I can't even be asked to wrap them up. And if you're watching this, keep one of these, yeah? When I have a baby, thanks. Just in case they're not around. Why did they have to send three separate parcels? That was very unnecessary. Yeah, I just like really plain stuff. I'm just not into this crazy animal shit. Okay, ready to go. I had a bit of a problem with my camera there. How gorgeous has this autumn weather been so far? I'm so in love. It's been so fresh, but bright, crisp air. Oh, it's just been so, I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. We have actually got washing dry most days the last two weeks. So that's how you judge a good day if it's a good washing day. Although you don't look happy now. You were so peaceful earlier. And now you don't look very happy to be here. <laughs> Hello, you okay? You gave me a little smile then. What are you looking at? Oh, <laughs> hello. Spot the camera, did you? <laughs> hey. Oh, he's happy, look. Fingers crossed. For some reason, my camera stopped working at Angie's. None of my memory cards want to work. My camera stopped just as I was filming Tucker asleep on me. So cute. Um, but I got a little bit from my phone that you would have seen. But yeah, I've just been seeing the triplets and Ange and Chris and um, 
they're doing amazing i'm lit just i don't know i'm just in for like constant awe of how they're living their life it's just honestly insane um, i'm just gonna do a little bit of work and then i actually have an interview in 20 minutes for the daily mirror they're writing an article about social media and they wanted to talk to me about filter drops so i've got a call with them i've just made my second coffee for the day but i decided to try and switch to decaf in the afternoon because i think that's going to make a difference i'm also really hungry but just don't really have anything in the house so i've got one of these they're trek protein flapjacks gluten-free vegan they're actually so delicious i only tried this flavor for the first time yesterday i do like it but my favorite one is the cacao one so i got the chocolate on top do you know what i fancy doing later so i do most of my food shopping in waitrose but i try and pretty much only buy fruit veg meat fish i don't buy a lot of branded stuff in general but then when i do i try not to buy it in waitrose so i'll buy essential waitrose but then if i need like tuna or whatever I'll do a big supermarket at another point. So I'm in an, I'm in the need of like a branded food shop, but I'm also just feeling like a late night Asda trip. So I think I might do that later. I don't know if this is like what 30 is and why on earth that excites me, I don't know. But yeah, the reason why I go late night is because obviously it's quieter. I feel like if I was watching a vlog, I would wanna see what the flapjack looks like. So it looks like this for all of you who care they're very good they're a good brand i like them a lot there was one i think it became obviously they all started with like the dog ears and things like that how how close to the ideal society has set a woman to look like that is what that filter gave me and what i feel like it gave every other woman who tried one growing an addiction to that version of myself so that when i was looking in the mirror or when i had no makeup on or when i took a selfie on the rare occasion without a filter or when someone takes a photo of you and you don't have that control of like an angle or lighting or a filter i just remember being like so disheartened with my reflection how much it was damaging my confidence you know i can't pin my worth on something that isn't real because then my confidence will never grow ah oh, today's just not gone to plan it's just not gone to plan there aren't enough hours in the day but we move that call for the daily mirror thing went well and i feel like i'm forgetting that there's it's friday tomorrow it feels very friday today so i'm like oh i've got loads to do but i've got tomorrow um i went to primark the other day i thought i'd just show you a few bits i picked up i don't tend to shop in primark that often really um and i try to only buy things that i know will wash well so that i'll be able to keep them for a long time things that i'll use and wear often basically so yeah anyway first of all i got um some period pants i've not tried them before but pff, they're meant to be amazing so this was a three pack for 13 pounds i got a size large and you get two medium flows and one heavy flow holds up to four regular tampons i don't know how i feel about these but they actually look like such comfy knickers so even if i don't use them for my period i think i'll use them i got some black socks just ankle socks these i wear these a lot for the gym pack of three for three pound fifty i got this brush mixed bristle hair brush for two pounds i've been looking for just a bristle brush like that i literally can't find one anywhere they were sold out in boots they didn't have one in primark in Tottenham Court Road and they didn't have one in this one either. It's really annoying. Maybe we should just get one off Amazon. I got this cardigan. It's a cropped, sort of more of a chunky knit one. This is size large and it was £14. Like an oatmeal colour. Love a cropped cardi. This is my fave colour in the world. We know that. Uh, this is also in a size large and it was £12 feels really lovely quality i don't know i don't know it feels lush but yeah i love that i got a plain cream beanie not with this hair but i look a little condom but yeah when my hair's done properly i got quite a bit didn't i this is another i don't know if this is crop oh franco is the same color as you darling just to look so lovely on you yes 
I don't know if it's cropped, but it's a cardigan again. I don't know if this is buttered or not. Size large, eight pound. I like it though. I'd like with jeans, that'd be nice, no? We'll see. Again, I don't know if, no, I, this is nice. I just need to trust my instincts. This is a blue and white stripe cropped rugby style top, size large, 10 pounds. Some fluffy socks. I'm really into wearing fluffy socks at the moment, I think just because heating is expensive. So I've got gray ones, two pounds these were. They feel lovely. I picked these up. These are cedarwood scented room sachets. I could smell them through the packet. So I was like, they will be delicious. I thought I could put them in, um, Dan says in the lounge, like put it in the vase. I got some silver hoop earrings. Can you see? I don't know when silver was ever out of fashion, but I feel like silver is back in fashion. I really loved this middle pair. I like them a lot. I also love this size hoop. This is like my favorite size to wear, like a chunky medium size. These pads are my favorite in the world. They're not that environmentally friendly. However, I have been looking for some reusable ones and I actually got sent some with a PR package the other day. So I'll use these up and then I'll stop buying them because it's not good for the planet at all. I do think I had head loss on the next two purchases, but I just couldn't leave it. I was like, I'll just try it. And if I don't like it, I'll return it. It's a cropped leopard print laser. I don't know if my love for Shania Twain's just got out of hand or actually if her renaissance and the hype for her is making me get out of hand. I just don't know. But yeah, it's, um, it's cropped. Da, 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 da. Let's go girls, da, da, da. come on. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with. I don't know what, I just don't know why I do it. Okay, anyway, it was 17 pounds, size 16. We'll try and make it work. I got two really gorgeous little Christmas candles. Sorry if you're not ready for the C word yet, but I'm just ready, okay? I actually bought my first Christmas present last night. And when I saw these and smelt them, I just thought, yeah. Giving big diptyque slash anthropology vibes. Like a red shiny candle and then it's got this lovely little reindeer pattern on. And this is clove and woody pine. Smells delicious. And then this sort of fern pattern. Fern, is that the right thing? I don't know. On oh, mistletoe, sorry. And this is apple and smoked birch. Or maybe it's birch. Is birch a tree? Yeah, birch tree. And then another head loss moment. I saw, I saw these and I just thought, I just kept going back to them and then I tried them on and they just looked sick. And I, I do love them. They're red platform satin heels with an ankle strap. They look better on than they do off. What am I wearing them with? I don't know. Where am I wearing them? I don't know. How much are they? 15 pounds and last but not least god we're really into leopard at the moment i picked up these leopard print pajamas these oh no actually silly choice from me but i got an extra large on the bottom and without a drawstring they're probably going to be too big but that's okay i can just use a little hairband to tighten them and then the matching top obsessed love them listen for me leopard print never went out of style okay i also got the delivery of my skims dress my long ribbed one and my skims shapewear also i've been sent a pair of ugg boots i did do an unboxing reveal type thing on instagram it was quite chaotic but i do kind of like them you know i just don't know how i'll feel about driving in these because they're very thick sold but maybe i'm being dramatic but yeah, I, I don't know. Are they cool? Kind of like them. I'm doing like a bit of a haul here, a bit of a PR. Minnie, don't dribble on everything, darling. It's not nice. Hey, you don't even know it yet, but your daddy is home tonight. Gonna stand on everything. Think. No, no. I got sent the most gorgeous pair of pajamas from Chelsea Piers, who you know I absolutely love. And would you just look at them? 
how stunning i absolutely love them these pajamas oh they're just so beautiful i feel like they would make the loveliest gift because it's actually quite hard to find decent quality lovely pattern really comfy pajamas and i just you can't go wrong with pajamas as a gift in my opinion I'm running out of time because i need to go and do a school run hurry up david and come home i'm gonna i need to oh fuck i need to get the washing in i need to put the washing in tumble dryer fold up the washing do a little hoover kitchen tidy cook dinner I went to the hygienist the other day and so bad but it was the first time in two years basically that I've been and I did get told off quite badly so I bought this on Amazon yesterday the Oral-B Smart 6 it's got like a pressure sensor which I was also told to get so I'm going to charge that and I also was told to buy this the alcohol free Corsodil and I've got to use that for two weeks Good morning. I've started sleeping with one of these in. On. Like that. And I wake up. I don't know. I really like it. It helps me to fall asleep. It's got like silk inside. This is actually very old from Skinny Dip. They sent it to me like two years ago. But yeah, anyway. I didn't realise that David's off work today. I was looking on the internet last night because I still have... It's annie's wedding tomorrow billy's sister and i still have nothing to wear i've probably had like six months to sort something and i've left it with one day to go so i was looking online last night i did find a place in cardiff and they have a whatsapp number so i've messaged them to ask if they sell any lengers which is what i want and then if not i just really don't know what i'm gonna do I did think about driving up to Leicester today, but then I realised the wedding wasn't even less in Leicester, so that would just be stupid. Basically, I am just an idiot, is the bottom line. I could have sorted this so long ago. <sighs> We're going to go and get our TV sorted because the TV in the lounge is broken. I'm just going to go and take that down. Oh, my hair. It's actually clean. I just don't know why it's looking so bad because I've not brushed it. And then we're going to go to Next to see if we can find him a suit because he needs a suit. I might just have to give up on an Indian outfit, which is just such a shame. This is not the October autumn beautiful weather I ordered. We've come out today and it's pissing with rain, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, can you describe drizzle as pissing? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know. It's drizzle. Yeah, that's Wet. so true. Why is the phrase pissing with rain? Because it's. Because no one drizzles and piss. No, it's a strong stream. Anyway, where are we going for breakfast? Um, well, we're going to go to Tim Hortons. What about Munch Bases? What's Munch Bases? No, no, no. So we're going to go to Tim Hortons for breakfast. Well, might as well pop into Waitrose now. So I need to get a bunch of stuff. What stuff? The earwax stuff. Oh, okay, the well. oil stuff. I won't ever turn down a trip to Waitrose. Did you have a nice time on your holiday? Holiday? Holiday. holiday, I was working from half seven in the morning and I didn't stop all day. David bought me a present back, he bought me, not from the holiday place, he was actually away with work. He bought me a bunch of flowers and a bottle of red wine. Uh... We're actually being wild and going to eat inside, which we've not done before. Hey look, we could be in Canada right now. Whoa, delicious. Oh yes. White that's hot a chocolate. It's not that's not a gimmick, that's white hot chocolate. Yeah, a taste you get, of you get that and you'd add it once you won't Oh shut up. Look at that iced Oreo. Mmm. They look nice. Do, why don't you get the iced Oreo so I can try that? Why don't I not and get what I want? <laughs> you've got an attitude problem. Do, you've got an attitude problem. I'm gonna get donuts as well. Everyone says this is amazing. Why is it? For, uh, French vanilla. Did you get Oh you can't do dairy free. Oh. oh well, just have cow's milk today. No. Yay! Tim Horton's breakfast is better than McDonald's, don't you think? Yep. Okay, this is the French vanilla latte that everyone says is amazing. I'll be the judge of that. I don't like things that sweet. Mmm. 
Mmm, that's delicious. The bagel. This is the best thing on the menu. Ah! This is absolutely delicious, and I don't normally like syrupy stuff. I have to always ask for one pump. And try some. It's not your type of thing, but... What is it again? French vanilla latte. Latte with a pump of syrup. I don't know. Are you, uh, don't put it on there. It's covered all the shit. Just a bit of biscoff. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, this donut is incredible. It's like a squashed cinnamon roll with biscoff on top and icing. Do you want to try some? Do you yeah, want to just okay. bite? A small, oh fucking hell. Yeah. Was that a nice walk? Did you have fun? Are you perfect? My dad is home. See, Frank is fuming because he loves me. Bye darling, see you tonight. Okay, call me crazy. I'm driving to Cardiff to get an Indian outfit because I'm a balance. Basically, even though I've left it late, even though I'm an idiot, I can't bear the thought of going to Annie's wedding not in Indian attire. This family have been in my life, well, since I was five. It's an hour and 15. It's not ideal, but we're going to have fun. We're going to put a podcast on. Actually, that's the point. What should we listen to? Oh, do you know what? I might listen to Happy Mum, Happy Baby with Zoe Sugg and Alfie Days because I love Giovanna and Zoe's baby is really cute. Okay, bye, see you in Cardiff. One thing about me, I was born to pull things off in the last fucking hour. Granted, it's not the most stunning Indian outfit you've ever seen in your life because the choice was limited, but we've got something that's better than nothing and with good hair and makeup, I'm gonna salvage. Has it been stressful? Yeah. Yes, it has. Oh, forgot about that. Lovely. What do you think? With hair and makeup, I'll be able to make. Oh yeah, it's very flashy, isn't it? And the sparkles. 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 What do you think? Yeah. Very nice. I can't really see the colour, let me take it like this. It's like a, yeah, I'd say that's a dusky pink. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. No, you? no. we did have a massive breakfast. Yeah. We're waiting for our dinner. All this vlog ever sees is either me making pasta or us ordering a takeaway. I just don't know what happens, but it just falls on that. But can you vouch for people that I just generally cook really healthy meals? Yeah, you do. Say it louder. Yeah, you do. All they ever see is just us eating shit. And like an obscene amount of it. Um, Greek takeaway, Huh? No, Greek takeaway is actually, it's just grilled meat, salad and pita bread. We're going to have to hand wash my outfit for tomorrow because it smells it's got a really damp musky smell to it which the shop did smell of to be fair where are you christmas why can't i find you i do like shrek that's not from shrek green green yeah same green aren't they oh who's your favorite green monster hulk or grinch grinch or shrek oh uh, grinch <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the myth is that that's not illegal? Did your mum always used to tell you it was illegal? Yeah. It's not though, is it? Trace always used to say it was illegal. Yeah, have you not? We've seen that every time we've gone to take the dogs for We were going to go on my late night as a trip that I wanted to go on, but David realised that that entails us doing a big branded food shop which he's not in the mood for hell no hell no hell. um but we're gonna watch wrexham tonight because it's our favorite wrexham wrexham i don't know if i've spoken on the vlog about how much i love wrexham in short i hate football i hate sport i particularly hate football 
and David watched, well, started, he wanted to watch it because you used to live in Wrexham, didn't you, for a bit when you were younger? Yeah. And he wanted to watch it. He was like, he made a joke. He was like, you're going to watch Wrexham with me? I was like, no, I'm fucking not. And he put it on, the episode on, when we were in bed one day and I was, I started moaning straight away. I was like, why are you putting the, this on when I'm here? Like, that's not fair. You're watching a programme that only you want to watch. Two minutes in, I was crying, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I have become obsessed. I am obsessed with Wrexham. I am obsessed with the town, the club. My idea of a perfect date, if you looked up and said to me, I'm taking you to Wrexham today, I'd piss my pants. Do you know that? <laughs> you would have already got there. <laughs> We've got three episodes left, is it, of season one? I think it's three. It might be two, but it's the finales. How about this? I've got an episode of The Kardashians to watch. Why don't you give that a go and see how you feel? No. That's a whole different level. It's not. Yeah, For how much I hate football, I, the way I detest football, the yeah, fact it's that not I'm... Wrexham, Wrexham isn't about football, really. Well, I seem to care when all the players are signed. Yeah, but this because it deals with a human story. It doesn't. Just, it's, it's not about like the actual sport. It's more about human. It's a human documentary. Yeah. I nearly learned the offside rule. I thought about it one time. What do you think I'm gonna say to you? Wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, actually. But show everyone what we bought. Talk us through. Fruit gums. You're gonna wash your hands after you put your yummy hands in. Red one. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Enjoy stick. Jelly tots. Crunchy. Rocky Balboa. Silky way. Fanta, zero sugar. <laughs> yeah, because that will help compared to the sugar we've got there. I am sad that that's the end of series one, are you? Yeah. It's so good. I can't even explain how good it is. Like, the way they've directed it, the way they've shot it, the things they've covered, the things they've not cut out. Like, there's been so many moments in each episode where I've thought, fuck me, I can't believe they've kept that in. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like they did a whole episode on hooliganism. Is that a word? On hooligans, yeah. On hooligans, on, yeah, fo hooliganism. on yeah. football hooligans and like, oh, just, it was just amazing. I absolutely love it. I cried, we both cried at the last bit one episode. I'm like, did you cry on the last episode? I did. A little bit couple of tears yeah if you haven't watched it honestly I, I can't think of anyone who wouldn't enjoy it it's just brilliant it's such a feel-good heartwarming documentary can we go to Wrexham would you remember your house if we saw it your mum would or your dad would no I would I can picture it I can picture the back garden there Deadpool <laughs> Oh, look at my tan line. What's happened here? I never got to do my... Ah! My late night as the supermarket trip on this vlog, which was what I wanted to do. But like I said, I am thinking of doing two vlogs a week from now up until 1st of December and then three vlogs in... Three vlogs every week in December up until Christmas Eve. So if you do want to see that, let me know. And then the next vlog I'll do as the supermarket trip. I hope you enjoy, hope you have a lovely weekend. Hope you had a lovely weekend. Good night.